Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game. We have a new cosmic power. Well, an old cosmic power. Talking about a new cosmic power. And that is the Observer. And I know. If you know cosmic, you're probably sitting here going, wait, why? Why in the world would we care about Observer? Because on 1st, on 2nd, on 7th, maybe on 17th, and definitely on 42nd look, we're sitting there and probably going, do we really need this? Well, yeah. So, headline here. Allies do not go to the warp. But it's a little, little bit more complex than that. Bear with me. We'll get there. All right. Let's read the power in detail. You have the power to protect as an ally. Whenever you should lose ships to the warp, use this power to instead return them to any of your colonies and keep using them. So, as an ally, you're sending four ships all the time. Gives you way more flexibility makes you more valuable as an ally. But there's more. As a main player, when any of your allies should lose ships to the warp, use this power to instead allow your allies to return their ships to any of their colonies of their choice. So, if you know the zombie power, this is a little bit of zombie. It's zombie when you're an ally. But it's also zombie for your friends. Eh? Here's what this power boils down to. It is table talk. The, the power of Observer is the table talk, the, hey, come on my side, there's no risk. Of course you want me to be your ally. I'll send four. There is no risk to you. I am here to help you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, it, it's that kind of stuff. Observers are, are definitely a misnomer at this point because they want to do anything except sit back on the sideline. They want to be involved in every single encounter they can possibly be involved in. Never are you going to be the observer, get an invite as an ally, and go, mm, nah, I'm going to sit out. You always have an incentive. You either go on offense, try to get that foreign colony towards winning the game, or you want to be on defense trying to get more cards, reward cards, main deck cards, I don't care what you're going for them, or trying to get ships back from the warp that you might have lost as a main player. It doesn't matter. You are trying to get more stuff. My best memory as Observer, eight-player game. And yeah, eight player games are crazy, but I was playing an eight player game at Origins Game Fair 2017. I know we're throwing it back five and a half years at this point, sitting around the table with nobody that I knew an eight player game. And you know, the, the guy teaching the game was like, oh, hey, whatever. what's everybody's familiarity with Cosmic? And, and I go, oh, yeah, I know this game. I've played it like 200 times. I've play tested for an expansion or two. And instantly everybody goes, oh, that guy. That guy's the threat. And um, I'm like, oh, I need to defuse that as fast as I possibly can. Because if I don't, I've got no chance in this game. So I said, okay, I'm going to take the Observer. I'm going to take a power where people want me on their side. Now, I also leverage the idea that new players tend to invite more than they they should. But I said, I'm, I'm going to take what seems like a very innocuous power, very low risk, right? I'm not doing crazy multiplication. I, I, I ultimately, I'm not a threat. I can't win by myself. I need other people to be on my side. I played to the table and observer is that, that power where you want it to play to the table. I know that's not going to suit everyone's play style. 
but I think it is a, a power where if you're still in a group that invites a lot of allies in, in your games of Cosmic, then Observer absolutely is worthwhile. Maybe your group's starting to phase out of offensive invitations, but you're still getting a lot of defensive invitations. Observer absolutely is worthwhile at that point. Why is that? Because those cards are powerful, right? Our opening video, we talked about the power of philanthropist, getting rid of cards you don't want, bringing in new cards of hands, new hands of cards. Oh, 2023 is off to a rocky start with that. Um, but Observer can do similar things. Maybe you're not getting to a new hand, but you're reinforcing your hand size. Now, some of this is basic tenets of Cosmic Encounter strategy, but the Observer lets you do it better. Now, it doesn't let you force your way in. It doesn't let you sit there and go, Oh, you don't want me? I'm coming anyways. But what it does is it, it it incentivizes players to want to ask you to ally because you're going to bring as many ships as you possibly can. It also, as a main player, you're going to provide a safety net for players. They're left without the the consequences of a bad ally decision. Sure, it, it might go wrong. They might make the wrong decision and they don't get the benefit of being an ally. But if they've chosen wrong, they don't lose. Their ships aren't going to be sitting there in the warp. And that's something you can sell. You have to be a bit of a car salesman where you say, look, look, I understand defensive alliances aren't the most attractive thing in cosmic however however if you come on my side and we win you get stuff right that's great but if we lose what's your worst case scenario your worst case scenario is you get your ships back and you get to keep using them but you turn it around and you say, look, if you go on offense, your best case scenario is that you get a foreign colony. And I understand that's 20% of victory condition. Absolutely. I get it. But worst case scenario, those ships you committed are sitting in the warp. And now you don't have them. You got to weigh those, the pros, cons. There's time for it. Absolutely. But as observer, you can make that sale. Up to the players to listen to it. And I get that. It's a challenge. But nobody said Cosmic was easy. So, that's Observer. I, th I think there's stuff there. Um, I'm never going to call Observer an amazing power. It's not in my top 10. It's not in my top 20. But I do like it. I think it's a worthwhile addition to the game. I think it brings something out there. While we're here, let's take a look at the Wild and then the Super. The Wild, as main player, after alliances are formed, you may allow each player who allied with you to draw one card from the deck. I like that. I think that's a good power, um, or a good Wild ability. It says, hey, you get a benefit. And once players know that you have it, I think it's even better. The Super... When you launch ships as an ally or the offense, you can retrieve one ship from the warp to bring with you. As the offense, the ship is in addition to the ship you normally get back. You're still limited to four. So, again, not the best super, not the best power, but that's okay. I, I think the Observer Wild certainly a, a safe wild you can put in the deck, uh, you know, if you're choosing a power you're not going oh eh, eh, the observer wild really got to watch out for that but i think it's a viable play i think it's a choice that's going to exist and, and you're okay with it being there so uh all that being there i like observer glad it's in, in the game what do you think do you play observer do you really like observer are you my roommate greg from college and observer probably is one of your favorite powers 
let me know. Let me know what you think. Uh, until next time, thank you all for watching. Keep rushing up your game. Take care. Happy New Year's, everybody.